I'm so in love with this that I couldn't stop myself from playing with it. Otherwise, this video would have come out one or two hours earlier. It is free. You can make as many videos as you want. You just join the Discord server and play around with it. I got amazing results most of the time on the first roll. The first example you're seeing here is done with text only. A fish swimming in a reef. And look how consistent it is, how beautiful this looks. The second example are ants running over a ground. Again, this is only text input, a first roll result. Next, I'm trying this out with mid journey images. So here's the input image of a guy standing in a cyberpunk city. And here is the same guy walking down that street with rain coming down. It's really amazing. Next, we have a guy looking out of a skyscraper window over a burning city. And here we have the video version of that. My mind is just blown on how good that looks. Next, I have here a tilt shift city with some traffic. And here's the animation and it's like it's crazy how this AI understands that the traffic is going on and the rest of it is mostly standing still. Of course, yeah, I give you it is not 100% perfect, but it's damn good, especially for the first try. Next, I have a sci-fi racing car going fast over the ground. And this is the video version of that. Again, it is first try. I love this. Here we have a sci-fi city with a lot of people walking around. That is a lot of work to animate if you want to do that by hand. And here is the video version. Look how the people walk around in different directions. All the dynamic that is going in there is just mind blowing. And here is another thing I want to show you. This again is text only. It is medieval warriors running through a forest. Look how natural that looks. Like. It is not perfect, but it is damn good. And last but not least, I want to show you a dancer. This is again based on a mid journey image. And here we have the dance animation. Now the body is morphing a little bit. It's not 100% a dance movement because dancing is really complex, but the result still is mind blowingly good. So what is this magical AI tool? It is called Pika Labs. It runs on Discord. You can use it for free because it's in beta right now. You have to join the Discord link that I provide under this video and then you go into one of these generator rooms and you can start creating videos to your heart's content and combine them with a text prompt. So the way this is done is you write slash create, then you write your prompt and then you click on the plus next to the prompt and upload your image. So here are some advice for the prompt. If you want to use the prompt with an image, which I would absolutely suggest to you, describe the scene a little bit and then describe the movement you want to have in the scene also a little bit, but keep the prompt short and precise. If you use an image, you don't need any kind of quality words in there or style words because that is already part of the image you're uploading. I found images work best if there is an indication of the movement in the image. So you already can kind of see what kind of movement is going on because otherwise it's kind of hard for the AI to figure out what you want to do. But you can also be specific in the prompt about what you want to have. For example, if you say waving hair in the wind, it will animate the hair mostly while not animating the rest of the image too much. So you can actually define which parts should be moving more or less. You can also define if it should be a fast or a slow movement or even slow motion and see what kind of results you get with this. Now, if you're creating a video only with a text prompt, you you might want to use some style and quality words. For example, anime, cinematic. One thing that really works well is feature film, for example, sci-fi feature film. And then you also want to include things like high quality, highly detailed 8K, things like that to get a better overall quality. Also, you can define different aspects, for example, the aspect ratio with minus AR and then writing the aspect ratio. If you upload an image, on the other hand, it is taking the ratio from that image. 
Of course, with video AI, very complex movements are still a problem. But if you have animations like I've shown you in this example of people walking, of rain falling down, of fire going up, stuff like that, AI can do really nicely. I was told that you can actually use the better videos that you create for commercial use, but they are watermarked. And also once they are changing over from the beta, these rules are going to change. So you might want to look into that and ask the team about how you want to use that. For now, there is no video to video render, but I was told that this is a thing that they are looking into. But image to video works really amazing. And if you're using stable diffusion, of course, inside of stable diffusion, you could use all kinds of tools like control net and LoRa's and so on to create specifically the image, the composition, the body position you want to have, then upload it to Pika Labs and create a video with it. And that's it already for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.